organization. And I have to say it, it just was hatred towards um, people who look like me. And it just deeply saddens me that people can hate you that much that they can just treat you less than, and then we and forget about these people. Um, what do we do? You know, we have to honor these people. We have to say something. I don't care what the dollar amount is. The city of Tampa, Hillsborough County, all of these people at the table, the powers of be, have got to recognize the spirits and the souls, the blood, sweat, and the tears that these people have contributed to this city and this county. I don't want to hear nobody tell me about a dollar amount. Just do it. For God's sake, I am sick of this. This hurts deeply that we can be thrown away and nobody tells our history. Nobody's telling these people history and these people's story. It's unbelievable. And I'm born and raised in this city and I'm ashamed of this city right about now. And this county. I'm ashamed. Thank you, Madam President. Yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michelle Gregsley. I'm the legislative aide to State Representative Wingate Newton, and he is actually now the chair of the Hillsborough delegation. So I would like to make sure that you know that he is very committed to finding out, as Representative Shaw stated, why and how this happened. Uh, he stated at the first meeting that <coughs> I'm sure there's more to come, and I hope that there's a plan in place to. Uh, start to figure out what the next steps will be so that the process can be expedited um, in a, a better manner in the future. Uh, he is in San Diego at a conference, so that's why he is not here, but I just want to make sure that we know that he is committed to standing by our other state representatives and senators in this issue, and we will do whatever we can to back you up. We appreciate the support. Let me also thank the district for being proactive looking at those other areas uh, uh, where we know African-American families and families of color resided. I know that Commissioner uh, Chairman Miller and I talked about the fact that uh, at our last meeting, that there that you start at Ybor uh, City and work east, uh, there's a cascade of cemeteries, almost one after the other, working from uh, Nebraska. Uh, working all, all the way to 56th Street. Uh, and, yeah. and when you realize, uh, you see that uh, pattern, you have to know it's not by accident. So thank you for uh, listening <laughs> and then taking the initial step to take a look at your own properties in that area to see whether uh, uh, those properties are perhaps uh, areas where there's a, uh, there may be a further need for There was no dollar amount uh, that we want to even talk about. It's, it's whatever it takes right now for our school district to get this done. Right. Um, you know, I think the what we wanted uh, at the very onset when this information was was delivered to us, and um, that we wanted to set the template and the tone for how this process really needs to be um, orchestrated across our community. I would feel like uh, our partner, the GFU, did a very uh, thorough job, and we have gone through every record. We have a have a location in our building that has all the historical records of every transaction that's ever been made here in Hillsborough County. So we started that uh, immediately uh, at the request of this committee. And we, we will continue to ex expand that perimeter if we feel like we need to. Right now we have not. But it is tedious, as Ms. Chamberger has said. It's, it, it, you just look at every record. This, this would not have come to be had we not put all the pieces together. Just looking at school board records would not have uncovered this. It was really about triangulating you know, deeds and property appraisals and looking at all those different documents that ultimately brought us to the conclusion that we need to do something. And so that's the kind of work we're doing right now and our, our staff is, is committed to this. Um, I just wanted to point out too, um, in 1997, Florida legislature 
um, created a report about Finn Energy Cemeteries in the state of Florida. Um, there was no apparent action that was taken from doing that report. Um, Senator Curry, Senator Rusan, presented a part of the But in, um, the point of that legislation um, that's been filed is to actually take action and speak to what you um, are saying with that um, dollar amount, appropriations, what have you, um, actually taking substantive action um, from a report. This report has lots of pretty pictures, it's online, it's great, but um, nothing happened from that, clearly, because we're still finding them. Camps under a microscope um, here. Um, it's not the only place in Florida that these cemeteries will be found, and a real opportunity to be an example of the state, and that's just something that we've definitely submitted to. So thank you. Thank, thank you so much for that support. Madam Chair, yes. I recognize this is a dark day in our community, this information coming forth, but uh, I'm an optimistic person based on my faith, and there's a scripture that I rely on, Romans 8, 20, that says all things work together for good. In spite of all the evil that happened when this occurred years ago, God has the ability to flip it for something that can be positive. And the commitment that I see around the table is positive. The, the, the school board stepping forward to take responsibility is positive. The commitment from our legislators to pass the appropriate legislation to accommodate taking care of the situation is positive. The commitment to use this as a learning opportunity for our children to, to hear about uh, our ancestors is positive. So our country has the ability to demonstrated that in the past in times of crisis to come together. With so much that is dividing our country today, perhaps God in his infinite wisdom knew that we needed something to bring us together. And so this is a focal point that we can come together and demonstrate and as someone just indicated, we can be a model for the state because this is not an isolated incident. But if we handle it appropriately, then we can be used as a model for other communities move forward in a positive way as well. Thank you so much, Pat, uh, Robert Banks, for that. Um, thank you so much for that. We, um, from the last committee, I think Reverend Rowntree asked, like, has this been done before? One of you asked, like, has this been done before? What can we learn and glean from other communities who experiences or other school districts? And again, we got to work immediately, and I tell you, there's really just nothing out there, right, Superintendent? It, there are some examples, but knowing the caliber of people we have around right. the table, None of the examples would be what we would consider to be um, a best example of how we want to uh, treat this particular situation. Uh, we have a high bar here, and I think uh, we're going to set the bar yeah. uh, very high for how we uh, do this right work. So to your point, Reverend Banks, like we have a chance to really make a template and set the tone for how future cemeteries and being alone are located. So uh, we're very honored to have each of you at the table so we can uh, make sure that everything is handled appropriately moving forward. Anyone else have any comments or concerns? Okay, so seeing none, um, again, moving forward over the next 30 days, we ask that you continue to engage your constituents, your communities, about the possibility of what will happen if this property is uh, turned back over to the school district, uh, what we would like to see happen. Um, we will keep in contact with you regarding the next steps, the next dates for our meeting, the location, um, and all of that stuff. But we remain, uh, and the superintendent uh, certainly remains available, uh, myself, for any questions or concerns you may have in the meantime. Uh, but we definitely have a chance to show uh, the greatest amount of dignity and respect to these families, which is our number one goal and our number one priority. And so uh, we thank you for um, helping us make this work. So thank you guys for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just ask this. Do you guys want to just do one of them? Do you want to pull the podium back? Pull the podium back? Are you happy with these?